there's no story box today. Isn't that bizarre? I wonder what that means. Do you think it means there's no story? You think there isn't a story? <laughs> you can see behind me. I can see behind me too. Are you hiding, Pizza? <laughs> He's looking for well, the story box. The reason, the reason there's no story box this morning is because this story that I'm going to tell you actually happened before there were stories. It happened right at the very beginning. And so there was no box to put the story in. That had to be created after the story. So, let's hear this story. And it goes like this. In the beginning, there was nothing. Nothing. Imagine nothing. Can you imagine nothing? I wonder what nothing looks like. Just the floor? just the light of a light bulb, or the light of a flashlight, or, or the headlights of a car, but, but all light, everywhere, all kinds of light. And it was good. And that was called the first day. The first day. And then, God gave the gift of water. And not just the water in your tap or in your toothbrush glass, but all water, everywhere, all kinds of water. And God divided the waters above from the waters below. So some waters are like rain, and some waters are like a sea or a river. And it was good, the second day. Oh, that's to divide the waters above from the waters below. So it's not really, a, it's just, it, it just, it could be a road. It, it could be, it could be the horizon, it could be all kinds. Could be, could be a bit of sand or sun. And then God gave the gift of dry land. And in the rich and fertile soils, there were green and growing things. Things like trees and grass and watermelons and apples and carrots. Yeah. And it was good. The third day. Third day. And then God gave the gift of night and day. And there was the sun, big and bright and oh so warm. And the sun ruled the day. And there was the silvery moon and millions of stars to rule the night. And it was good. The fourth day. Fourth day. Then God 
gave the gift of all the creatures that fly in the air and all the creatures that swim in the sea. And it was good. The fifth day. And then God gave the gift of all the creatures that walk upon the earth. The creatures that walk with two legs, like you and me, and the creatures that walk with many legs, four and six and eight and ten and a hundred. And sometimes even a million, like a centipede. Even a million. And it was good. The sixth day. And then God gave the gift of rest. A day to remember all the gifts of the other days. A day to stop and pay attention. Pay attention to the moon. And pay attention to the apple tree. And pay attention to the kitten or the elephant. And it was good. The seventh day. And then God gave us the gift of tomorrow. Tomorrow. I wonder what tomorrow will look like. I wonder what we need to do tomorrow to give a hug to the earth. I got a good idea. Kiss the earth and say, I love you, earth. Woo! Kiss the earth and say, I love you, earth. That sounds like a good plan to me. Story in a bit. We're going to sing a brand, another brand new song, and uh, we're going to be singing this for a few weeks, so today we're just going to learn how to sing it. Next week we're going to learn how to move as we sing it, and then we're going to sing it in four different parts. Four different parts. So 